Okay. And now he's gonna go with the oh, everybody smile thing. Uh, yeah. yeah that, don't take it away, dude. That's my my ritual. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody smile, <laughs> especially TV. Welcome everyone to another video of our Azure Stack Hub Partner Solution video series. Today I'm again um, here with Tiberio Radu from the Azure Stack Hub team, and he brought me another very interesting partner uh, where we can talk about. Um, so, Tibi, how are you doing these days? Hello, Thomas. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm uh, doing well. Um, today we're going to talk with a, a partner that uh, provides a, um, a, a hybrid focused solution, set of solutions to, to their customers. Uh, my cloud door um, is a um, uh, one of the, the preferred size that we have for Azure Stack Hub. Um, and they have a um, complete set of solutions that span Azure as well as uh, on-premises with the consistency offered by Azure Stack Hub. Um, as you already know, uh, throughout the series, we've uh, touched on uh, various partners that have either um, uh, more of a local focus or more of a breadth of a breadth focus, uh, as in they, they they're covering other customers or they're offering solutions that span multiple things. Um, this is one of the the, the more broader uh, partners, so to say. Um, but I don't want to ruin too much of their. Uh, their announcements. <laughs> All right. No, that sounds awesome. Uh, and yeah, I think I have the right person here uh, with Marcos, who is the CEO of my cloud door. Uh, how are you today, Marcos? <laughs> Fine. Thanks, Thomas. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you, TV. Uh, these days are exciting days for everybody because now we are we can see a, a global digital revolution because of a, of a healthcare situation now that uh, this is changing the world. This is changing the way we do a lot of things in, in terms of not only in terms of health, even in terms of social. And these are exciting times for everybody uh, to live and to help everyone with Microsoft technology. Yeah, that's absolutely the case. Um, so um, can you talk a little bit about more about my cloud door and like explain a little bit about more about the company? Yes, Thomas. Well, my, my Clover was a company founded in the USA eight years ago. Uh, we have the vision that the cloud was going to change all our lives, and the, the cloud was going to change all the business all over the world. And this is how we started eight years ago. Five years ago, we decided just to focus on um, business SAP solutions with large digital transformation, where we were able just to move large companies to the cloud with the SAP core. So, for example, we started to work with very large companies like Philips in the Netherlands, like Santander Bank uh, in Europe, uh, USA, Latin America, or like uh, Telefonica, or like uh, also electricity companies like EDP. On top of that, uh, we thought that uh, in this global business transformation, we help every customer to understand what the cloud is, to migrate all the servers they have and all the technology that they have to the Microsoft Azure Cloud, to get the best of all the capabilities that the Microsoft Azure Cloud can offer you. And we provide managed services in the Microsoft Azure Cloud. So we really, really love all the cloud uh, capabilities of Microsoft Azure because we think this is the best way for any company to outperform in terms of their business. Okay, that sounds great. And again, we're loving our partners who are obviously focusing on our cloud uh, solutions out there. So you mentioned uh, customers and what are you doing for your customers? So when it comes to them, what are you kind of like the clients you're working with? Yes, we are working with large companies and small and medium enterprises. Our main focus is uh, Americas, USA, Latin America, Europe, Middle East. And first of all, uh, with any kind of company, for example, Philips in the Netherlands, uh, Santander Bank uh, in the USA or Latin America, uh, Repsol in, in South Europe, uh, EDP, for example, in Portugal or Brazil, uh, or engineering office in Dubai. Uh, we help them to understand what the cloud, 
we help them to define the roadmap to the cloud, how they can uh, manage business and digital transformation of their own business using the best of Microsoft Cloud. We migrate all their IT capabilities to the cloud and we manage uh, the services in the cloud. So this is uh, more or less the, the best approach we can do uh, and mainly with a lot of focus with SAP on Azure. So with this expertise, we have found customers in Chile, Brazil, USA, uh, UK, Netherlands, Spain, United Arab Emirates. And we found that sometimes the public cloud is not the best uh, solution for their needs. And this is why we also start working with Microsoft in other areas, which is uh, with where we have large expertise like Azure Stack. Yeah, so that's actually a good, good over, uh, good mentioning. Uh, that is was one of my neck is becoming one of my next question. You just mentioned uh, the Azure Stack uh, portfolio and the Azure Stack Hub solution. Um, so why did you decide to go with Azure Stack Hub, and how does that fit in the overall solution? Uh, from our point of view, Azure Stack is the best private cloud solution. Why? because of several reasons. First of all, is because Azure Stack is supported by the biggest business-to-business -business software company in the world, Microsoft. Second, because Azure Stack is completely homogeneous with Azure Public Cloud. So for any company that has some workloads in the Azure Public Cloud and some workloads in a private cloud, the best solution is Azure Stack because at the end they will have a common Active Directory, a common security layer, a common management tool, so a common private and public cloud management strategy, knowledge and services. On top of that, we understand that uh, in any customer where we are working in Latin America, Europe, Middle East or USA, sometimes you understand that uh, because of several different kind of reasons, they cannot move all the IT um, servers to the public cloud because they have data protection laws, they have um, a, a specific uh, security requirements, or they have uh, political problems, honestly, because sometimes uh, when you are working in, in Chile or Colombia or Mexico, they don't want to put their their servers in one specific country because of political reasons or political relationships, or even with a federal state, or even with you are working in a city. So Azure Stack is the best solution for any company to get the best of the Azure cloud and to stay in your data center. If you want to stay in your city, in your federal state, in your country or your continent, and you don't have an Azure Public Cloud available in this area or this region, Azure Stack is your solution. Okay, so there are many, this is actually a fantastic answer, and there are many things you were just uh, talking about. But I think if I can summarize this, uh, try to it's really bring the consistency of the cloud platform to a hybrid environment. Um, so because for, the re for some of the services, uh, where you can't use the public cloud, you can actually still use the same mechanisms and the consistent services um, on Azure Stack Hub, right? Yes, totally agree, Thomas. This is the key because at the end, not all the companies can move 100% of their IT to the, to the public cloud, uh, but they want to have all the services provided in the public cloud with the best cloud and the, and, 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 and the most advanced cloud, which is Microsoft Azure. So the best solution for them is, OK, let's keep doing your business in your data center, in your city, in your federal state or in your country, but with the best technology, with Azure Stack services, with all the services provided, with all the Kubernetes and AKS and all the solutions and capabilities provided by Azure in the data center, in, inside the place where you want to be because of political reasons or because of uh, legal reasons. All right, no, that's great. Um, so that brings me to our next question, actually. So you explained, okay, what are your customers and um, why did you choose 
Azure Stack Hub. But so the next thing I want to talk a little bit about, how are you actually using Azure Stack Hub to provide uh, value to your customers? Hello, Thomas. This is Javier Aguado, Cloud Service Director at MyCloudOr. And, and at the end, as <clears throat> Marcos has told, is we are focusing on helping them to extend their capabilities, the IT capabilities between the public cloud and the private cloud. So here we are not just focusing on uh, traditional infrastructure as a service uh, solutions such as virtual machines or storage. We are trying to help them to deploy more advanced solutions that cannot be deployed on a traditional data center, such as containers, uh, Azure Kubernetes services, analytic services, IoT solutions. So more advanced cloud capabilities in their own data center. We are helping them to build these hybrid solutions, like, uh, for example, we have a very important uh, banking customer in Latin America, which has its own core banking solutions in the Azure stack, but they are using API management in the public cloud for, for publishing all these web services that the customers are using. At the end, we help them to have both worlds, uh, keeping the data on-prem and using the capabilities and the flexibilities provided by, by Azure for extending and for connecting to uh, other partners. No, that's yeah. pretty cool. I love how 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 the public cloud and and uh, the Azure Stack um, extension basically comes together to build that not just like a hybrid environment, but also building like hybrid applications where you can have data on the location where you want it, but still process it um, and and leverage the public cloud for that. Um, so actually, that's gonna gonna be interesting. Now let's talk a little bit more in a technical way. Um, we mentioned that you use Azure Stack Hub and what like the different customer scenarios are. Uh, what I'm interested in is, is kind of like, what in a technical way, what are the platform features you and also your customers are leveraging when it comes to, to Azure Stack Hub? Yeah, so first of all, what, what we do, it's uh, helping them to define the, the catalog of services that are enabled in Azure Stack. So we enable the different uh, services, uh, infrastructure as a service solution or platform as a service solution that are enabled in the Azure Stack Hub. So they can deploy and manage these kind of services. Also very important, we try to help them to define everything in an infrastructure as a code way using uh, Azure uh, ARM templates or third party tools like uh, Terraform or even my cloud management and automation solution, which is a, our own IP solution for create and deploy infrastructure as a code landscapes. So we help them to define everything within uh, infrastructure as a code templates. So they can deploy these templates in the public cloud for development environment and in the Azure stack in the uh, private environment. So they have an homogeneous uh, integration and a homogeneous platform. Also, in terms of managing and operating the services, uh, we help them during the whole procedure since the installation till the continuous operation and improvement of the platform. We take care of the physical infrastructure, helping them to apply in all the hotfixes, all the firmware updates, etc. We help them to upload and to apply the patches for the Azure Stack uh, virtualization layer. And then we help them to operate and to manage these uh, virtual services that they are deploying. So for using that, uh, we are using our own developed monitoring tools that help us to monitor both physical infrastructure and virtual infrastructure. So we help the customers and provide them a full package of a managed service, and they only need to focus on which is important, their business. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it's a it's a very broad thing. And so basically, when I, when I if I would be a customer and I come to you, you would basically help me like planning the whole environment, the architecture of that, but also then helping me with migration and operation of these of, of these applications and services. And then, as I understood, also when it comes then to modernization, right? When you're actually like okay, let's say my current application probably runs in traditional IaaS VMs and it gets moved to public Azure or Azure Stack Hub. But then you also do the next step when it comes to actually then helping motorizing that with past services and then obviously adding adding some additional uh, cloud operation things like, uh, for example, you mentioned um, ARM templates or other templates from other providers to do infrastructure as code, right? That's that's completely right. At the end, the, the journey doesn't end when you have implement your Azure stack and you have enabled the services. What is important is to try to innovate and modernize the application. So 
try to transform this uh, legacy uh, with different tiers applications in microservice architecture, using containers, Kubernetes, and trying to get uh, or to leverage into cloud advantages such as uh, flexibility, uh, agility, and having the same uh, development uh, landscape between the public and the private cloud. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Again, again, I I know working with a lot of customers that these are the things they are looking for, and that is a very important part. And always good to have uh, people with experience in that helping you. Um, so this is this is pretty cool. Uh, so we obviously have a lot of viewers, and if they are now interested in the solutions you offer and the services you offer, um, how they can go out and connect with you? How can they find more about my cloud door? So they can connect with us in our corporate web page, uh, mycloudor.com, but they can also contact us in our social media channels such as uh, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn or Twitter. Okay, that is great. So with that, I want to thank everyone uh, who is watching uh, our new video so series. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to Marcos and Javier from My Cloud Door. Thank you for being in our video series. And then also, as always, a big thank you for to Tiberio Radu from the Azure Stack team, uh, which makes that whole thing possible. So with that, thank you very much and hopefully see you in the next one. Thank you, Thomas. Thank, thank you. Thank Bye. you, Thomas. Thank you, Thibault. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye.